Oh, it is windy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Nature Patch. My name is Robin and thank you so much for joining in on another video. Today I am outside and I have a job that I've been meaning to do for the past couple of weeks and that is to empty the worm castings from my worm farm. So I'm gonna be showing you today how I empty the worm castings and a few things that I like to do with them. They're a great material to use on your plants for extra nutrients and provide really awesome organic matter to your soil. So I've got my worm farm out behind me and I'm gonna head over there and show you how to extract the worm castings. I would really appreciate it if you like this video and share this around if you find this content interesting at all. And I really hope you enjoy this video, so let's get into it. So this is the uh, worm farm that I've got. It's a can of worms and you can get this from Bunnings for about uh, $70 or so. It's got three compartments in it. So the first top compartment is where you put all your food scraps. The middle one is what we're going to be harvesting the worm castings from today. And the bottom is where all of the liquid and other castings can drain out. So the top one here is pretty much all full. So I like to add a lot of my food scraps into this one here and underneath everything now are worm castings forming. So what I'm doing now is I'm just finishing off this top layer by putting in some food scraps, bits of cardboard and just some old coffee. And then I'm just patting it all down and I'm going to top it all with some um, potting mix or you can use compost if you've got some compost lying around. It doesn't have to be anything too special, just nothing with too many fertilizers in it, that kind of thing. And this is just going to cap this layer off and provide a little bit of bedding for the worms. Then I'm going to be switching this top compartment off to show you all of the worm castings, which is what we're going to be harvesting today. And then I'm also going to be taking the middle layer out. This is what we're going to be taking out today. And below are some other worm castings that may have fallen through. This is where it's a little bit sludgy and wet down in this layer. I like to kind of clean this out um, every time I take the worm castings out. And what I'm doing here is just taking it all out um, and storing it in a little pot that we're going to use for later. You can also just use some water to spray this all out and um, dissolve it into a liquid and then open the tap and have it drain out as well or you can just physically scoop it out like I'm doing. Next, I'm gonna put that top layer that I took off in the middle, and this is going to sit for a few months or so and break down and end up looking like the middle layer that I'm putting back on the top now. So you wanna choose a nice sunny area for this because what we're going to be doing is slowly scraping off the castings and making sure that there's no worms in them. I wanna keep as many worms as I can in the worm farm. And a good way to do this is to find a sunny spot and all the worms will retreat below down into that middle layer every time you keep scraping back the surface. So now I'm gonna move on to some of the things that I like to use worm castings for. The first is in pots when I like to pot up my plants. I just mix a little bit in with some potting mix. This is really great if you're using kind of cheaper potting mix and don't want to spend a lot of money. Adding worm castings in is a great way to get extra nutrients into that soil. And today I'm just going to be potting up a little tomato sucker that I just pulled off one of the plants and rooted in water and I'm going to pop it in this pot for now. Another way I like to use worm castings, and this is the main way I like to use it, is making a fertilizer with it. So what I do is I just take a little dollop of the worm castings and put it into a watering can and dissolve it into the water, just using a stick to mix it all in. And then you just wanna make sure that you take off the cap of watering cans just because the small holes can tend to fill up if there's any sediments in the worm castings. And then I like to water it on my plants. You can water it on pretty much every plant um, that likes a good nitrogen feed. And then after this, I go through and um, give it a good water as well to dilute it a bit. 
Another way that you're seeing here you can use it is putting it around the base of plants and then giving it a good water in, making sure that it actually enters the soil and doesn't dry out on the top. Another way I like to do it is add it to compost bins. The worm castings are going to be full of worm eggs and some worms that you can see as well. And that just helps to break up any compost piles or in-ground composts that you've got around the garden. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, gave you some information on how to extract the worm castings and what to do with them. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And until my next video, happy gardening. Bye.